there everyone and happy Monday. It's Kimberly Beer here with Make It Happen Monday. One thing you can do this week to better market your business. And this week I want to talk to you about marketing automation. This is a question that comes up a lot in my seminars and also in just average conversations with people about marketing. There are so many possibilities with automation today with your marketing that it is um, something a lot of people want to explore and to know more about. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about judging if you're ready to automate your business and what's possible. And then I also want to invite you to a webinar next week where I'm going to get into a little bit more of the nuts and bolts of marketing automation and how it actually works, what you need to do to put it together, and how it can affect your business. And if your business is a good um business for marketing automation. The truth is, is that not everybody's business is suited for marketing automation. Some are better suited than others. And then there are some businesses where automation really shouldn't be a part of it. Um, so th that's a big consideration when you are thinking about how you want to work with your business um, and automation. So a business example that would be really good for marketing automation, if you're listening, my coaches out there, coaches are a really nice business for automation. It works well together. It helps you better build a really good rapport with your clientele. So you guys should definitely sign up for the meeting next week and come and listen to the possibilities about how you could build your coaching business using marketing automation. Now, if you are an artist, if you're one of my artist listeners, marketing automation may or may not be a good fit for your business. If you're one of those high-end artists who does large work that charges a lot of money um, for your pieces and you have a very specific target market, marketing automation probably is not going to be a good way for you to move your merchandise. On the flip side of that, if you are an artist who produces a lot of inexpensive pieces and sells a lot of stuff um, out to your audience um, that is not high investment, but you're very prolific, it, that is also not a good fit for marketing automation. So if you have a product or that you're selling and it's not a high price point, marketing automation may not be your choice. If you have something where you have to have a highly personalized relationship that you can't predict, like that high-end artist, not a good fit for marketing automation. Now, everybody who else who falls kind of in between this could be a good solution to you. So let's move on and talk a little bit more about what's possible with marketing automation. Obviously sales, right? We've all experienced that from the end of getting automated emails that educate us about a product or a service that we're interested in. But that's only the beginning of where marketing automation can take you. A lot of what we consider marketing can also fall under customer service. And it's sort of the serve to sell proposition when it's under the sales umbrella, and then it's serve to resell and get referrals under the next step after a customer has purchased. And a lot of that has to do with building satisfaction. Marketing is about more than just making a sale. It's that whole package of building a image for your business and then also getting people to come back, purchase again, or make referrals or both. And also to be a follower and a loyal customer sales representative as well. It's about empowerment when that's concerned. Automation is amazing in this aspect. So for business types like coaches who need to communicate frequently with their clientele, who get referrals on a regular basis, and who have repeat business over and over again, marketing automation really fits the bill. It helps you save time. It helps you save energy. It helps you be more present with your customers without it taking away your focus from actually working with the person that's in front of you 
or on your business that is in front of you and building a better experience for your customers going out. What you may not also know is possible with marketing automation are billings and payments. This is a big thing, particularly for my coach customers who we've already talked about the sales portion being a part of it. Collecting your payments, doing billing, adding subscriptions, all of those are possible with the same tools that you use for sales and customer service if you have that particular product line. And that's what I want to explain in the webinar. How do you choose what automation you want to go with and how deep do you want to get into it? Do you just want to get into automation in the sales level or do you want to take it to the next level with things like billing and payment or auto scheduling or having a automated process for your forms and reports in working back and forth with your customers. So there's a lot of things to explore there and unpack that aren't necessarily top of mind when we think of marketing automation. And again, this becomes something that you have to ask yourself, one, are you ready to invest in it? Two, are you really ready to pull the trigger on it? Do you have your, your I's dotted and your T's crossed enough in your business plan to know what you're gonna do and how you would go about that before you start instituting a marketing automation program? So a lot of the questions that I have are gonna be, what does it cost? Is this something that I even want to explore for my business because I can't afford it? And I can tell you that I'm gonna talk about two products in the webinar. I'm gonna talk about Constant Contact and I'm gonna talk about another product called Infusionsoft. And both of these products help you automate your business into a certain extent, one more than another. And for some of you, the, the cost can be as little as $65 a month to start out to communicate to a small database and do so with really nicely crafted automated sequences and also automated reports back to you that help you understand how you're communicating with that audience. Of course, if you have a medium or larger size database, those prices can climb up to two to $500 a month. Now, when I'm talking about small database, database, I'm talking about 500 or under people. When I'm talking about medium to large, I'm talking about 1,500 to 5,000. If you have over 5,000 contacts and you're wanting to do something that is marketing automation to that entire database, then we look into a more custom um, type of a situation. So for most of the clients that I have that follow us on Make It Happen Monday, yours is gonna fall somewhere in that small to medium to medium large database. You can step into this. You can start small and then grow exponentially as you want to invest more in marketing automation. And marketing automation, by the way, does not mean zero time spent. There's a lot of planning and effort that goes into it and then it does need to be maintained because like everything in the world, it changes. Um, you also have to understand that marketing automation is not going to replace your face-to-face -face auto face -to -face marketing. Face-to-face -face marketing is still always going to be the most effective. What it really shines at, what automation really shines at, is taking that face-to-face -face meeting and turning it into a sale. Because the reality is where most small businesses need the most help is on the follow-up. Hey, I'm raising my hand, my own business is included in this. Um, follow up is always a problem because you have so many plates spinning in the air, it's hard to keep them all going and focus on the future and focus on what you're doing right in front of you. So it, it really helps you with the automation component to get that connection with your customer, to maintain it long enough to create the sale, and then to service that customer after the sale, especially if you find yourself repeating the same thing over and over again or answering the same questions over and over again. But please understand, it's not a replacement for that face-to-face -face contact. That is still the place where you are gonna get the most traction. What it does is help you fulfill that until it's completed or initiated um, to get it started.
So the webinar is on June the 14th, 2018. If you happen to be watching this after the fact, I'm sure it's recorded on my YouTube channel somewhere. So speaking out there to the future world, it will be at noon central time. The registration link is included in the email. So please register and um, join me and we're gonna have a really candid conversation about marketing automation and I want you to bring your questions to the webinar because I do want people to ask and talk. I can guarantee you if this is something you've been thinking about, chances are there's another person in listening to this very same message right now who has similar questions to what you do. So if you've thought about automating your marketing, now's the time to take a big deep look at that and let's see what we can do to move you forward in that um, thought process. Thank you and have a great week. I hope to see you on the 14th and I will see you next Monday.